Let's play some Ole Ole Oxen Free. Or just Oxen Free. Just Oxen Free, not Ole Ole Oxen Free. I'm not sure where that's from. I really don't. Night School Studio. In partnership with Skybound. Why am I making such weird sounds? Why, why do I... Why? Oh! The Oaks are free is going a bit, um... It's going a bit. I didn't play this game for like... 10 seconds? It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then oh, it was no, turned into an army no. thing, then it became so, a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. So I went to um, Alex? Hey, still with us? I you haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Yeah, yeah. My my mind drifted for a second. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have my own... Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you it's a know record. It? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess she can't hear yeah, me. Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and... It's not like my hair is falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, oh, Alex, you join the fun. Telling me how to walk around. We uh need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? 
There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Spent five years studying the effects of ten elementary schools. It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with Baby red Carrots. Red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Judge face. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Green. I like his hat. I used to have a hat like that. I've got hair like that. So, you know, I'll mix it both. I reckon. Why am I doing this? I don't know. It's a strange game, this. I don't, I don't know if it's a horror game or not, or what it's trying to be. Is it a puzzle game? Is it a... It's not a platform game, obviously. Is it a mystery? I don't know. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> Okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... It'll take three minutes to... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time Where kind of going? feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. Who's Mike? What? Whoa, I heard your mom was dead. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Kind of 
kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like one o two point three. I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. But maybe I heard wrong. Ah, you know what? It's all right. I, I don't need to hear it. We can maybe come back later. The Kilton here. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's sister tall. Allison. Um, all right. That's my favorite sister Allison. It's really cute, this game. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, That's so true. be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and- I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. Ren? <sighs> Why? I don't want to babysit you when you go on a bad trip. You're not gonna have to babysit me. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? It, the whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes... Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl and a Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so 
Let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh. <laughs> my god. That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, oh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, hey, I... what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids. Well, I'm not even messing around. I'm just walking around. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what kind of game this is. This video is probably probably the most boring one of recent times. Fire! Man's great equalizer. Not for me, really. So what's the um what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so? First, we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I wanna hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like- Enough stalling. I know you wanna sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's- I just like her as a friend. That's- that's all. She's cool. She's- She's just All a- All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Why, thank you. I'd probably marry Clarissa. <laughs> okay, why, right there. I mean, why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch! Redheads are like the rarest breed. She's not a- How could I pass up the opportunity to hear this biting wit every day? Ugh, oh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Earth to Alex. This is Mission Control. You read me? Hey, honey, if you don't answer, that's a forfeit, and a forfeit's the same as a lie. Which means the penalty's the same. This is dumb, okay? It's dumb, come on. Hey, if you want to think the game's dumb, that's fine. But you're still getting punished. 
So march over here and take it like a big girl. Come on, Alex. It's time for your medicine. Oh! Yikes. Ooh, a little hard, don't you think? <laughs> Ow. See? We're Slap Sisters now. All in good fun. Yeah, uh, good fun. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the um, no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's, uh, make it something, uh, fun and neat. Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is... Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It um... What's the options? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. Got any reception? Or... No, not really. I, uh... Didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of. Uh, all right. See you later. <laughs> I didn't know you did that. You were How'd you get the fire started? We are the fire starter. A lighter. We are truly marvels of modern science.
Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. You know, Ren, he's like, kinda like totally into you. Yeah, no crap. The guy was practically humping her leg when he asked her to this. It's not a big secret. Nona, Ren's a great guy. And there's no pressure or anything, but I just want to put in a good word for him. For whatever it's worth. Look, Alex, Ren seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, so if you could just, like, tell him that, just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever. Just think about it, will you? He's not a bad guy. I know, but you think about it, too. Think about dating him? No. Think about telling him I'm not into it so he doesn't, like, get his hopes up or whatever. Oh. You look relaxed. I am relaxed. <sighs> Clarissa, seriously, what's your problem? Nothing's wrong, Alex, and even if something was wrong, there is no problem on the face of the earth that cannot be solved by what I'm doing right now. What's that? Staring into forever. Meditating? Yeah, sure. I was just saying that my dad's gotten kind of needy, that's all, since my mom passed. Yeah, I should have warned you. The technology here, I think they just got, like, mechanical pens, so... Oh, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna write him a text, so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. That's cute enough. Hey, why do you need help anyway? Why don't you just go up these stairs? And then jump off about here and then go down the rocks. Oh, Jesus, stairs. At least they are stairs. They're not, I don't have to climb the hill. Alright, I'm gonna go to Albert Estate. Albert Estate. 